watching Lifetime Celebrity Buzz. Get your buzz on. So here's the buzz as we know it. According to Delisted.com, Chaz Nate Chastity Bono made his first public appearance since his sex change announcement shocked the world mere weeks ago. Since Chaz went to Outfest with his girlfriend, Jennifer Elia, to support Benjamin Bratt's new movie, La Mission. And Ben Bratt was happy as a clam to see Chaz there. Cher could not be reached for comment. Next, speaking of plum parts, Celebitchy.com reports that while Lindsay Lohan claims to be a workaholic, a source close to the director of The Hangover, Todd Phillips, says Phillips offered Lillo the role of Jade, a.k.a. the stripper played by Heather Graham, and Lillo turned it down. Meantime, the film made $206 million, give or take a mil. Say bye-bye to your comeback, Lindsay, and hello to your lawyer. Because Us Mag reports that scientist Jennifer Sunday is filing a federal lawsuit against Lohan for stealing the recipe for her spray tan line 7-9. What? Lilo didn't come up with a tan in a can formula all by herself? She seems so scientific to me. Next, Fox News reports that Oscar-winning actress Rachel Wise thinks Botox should be banned for actors just as steroids are for athletes. Now. She didn't name any names, but I wonder if this rule applies to the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Also, if actors can't get Botox, can they still get caps and hair plugs? And when does the madness stop, people? Not with Lauren Conrad, I'll tell ya. Because PerezHilton.com says that Elsie's now a best-selling author. Yes, it's true. Not only does Lauren read and write, but her novel, L.A. Candy, was on the New York Times bestseller list two weeks in a row. I'll give you the hills are alive. Thanks for watching The Buzz. I'm Emily Stone. Be nuts.